Hello students. In this video, we shall learn about the cardinality of a fuzzy set. There are three types of cardinality for a fuzzy set. They are scalar cardinality, relative cardinality and fuzzy cardinality. Now we shall see this with the help of examples. First we shall learn about scalar cardinality. For a fuzzy set A, defined on a finite universal set X, its scalar cardinality denoted by modulus of A is defined as modulus of A equal to summation of A of X for all X element of capital X. So, when we sum up all the membership values of a fuzzy set, we obtain the cardinality of the fuzzy set. So, we shall see this with the help of an example. We shall consider the same example that we learnt in our previous videos where we had the values of x as the age from 5 to 85 in this interval and then we shall consider any one of the fuzzy set for example. So I will choose A3 that is the fuzzy set young to explain the concept of cardinality. You can apply this concept of cardinality to any of the fuzzy sets and you can understand it more better. So now what I will do is I will write this universal set and this fuzzy set in a separate sheet like this. So after writing like this, let me find the scalar cardinality. So as per the definition, what is the scalar cardinality? It is denoted by modulus of A and it sums up all the membership grades for X an element of capital X. So if we choose X to be 5, the membership grade is 0. And then for 15, 0 0.2. For 25, 0 0.8. So like this, for each value of X, we have the membership grade in the fuzzy set A3. So for this, let us find the scalar cardinality. So the scalar cardinality will be equal to sum of all these membership grades that is 0 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.8 plus 1 and then plus 0 0.6 and then plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 plus 0. So when we sum up all of this we get the modulus of A which is equal to 3.1. So this is the scalar cardinality. So therefore the scalar cardinality of the fuzzy set A3 because we have considered the set A3 is equal to 3.1. In a similar way you can find the scalar cardinality of A1, A2, A4 and A5. So now let us move on to the next definition. So what is the next definition? We have the relative cardinality. So what is this relative cardinality? For a fuzzy set A defined on a finite universal set X, its relative cardinality denoted by norm A is, give, is defined as. So norm A is equal to modulus of A divided by modulus of X. So, the number uh, modulus of A is what we obtain in the scalar cardinality. So, the scalar cardinality divided by the cardinality of the universal set gives us the relative cardinality. Let us see it for the same example. So, we will uh, find it here. So, relative cardinality is equal to scalar cardinality divided by modulus of X. That is cardinality of the universal set. Now, what is... And we have considered the set A3. So now what is the scalar cardinality of A3? It is 3.1. Just now we have obtained. So this is 3.1 divided by the cardinality of the universal set. So now this is the universal set. And here we have 3, 6, 9. So the cardinality of the universal set is a modulus of x which is equal to 9. And so this will give us the relative cardinality. And this is equal to. 0 0.3444 and it goes on. So let's just stop it like this. So 0 0.3444. So this is the relative cardinality. Next we shall find the fuzzy cardinality. Before that we will see the definition of fuzzy cardinality. Given a fuzzy set A defined on a finite universal set X, its fuzzy cardinality denoted by 
This symbol is a fuzzy number defined on n by the formula this for all alpha element of the level sets. So now this formula I will explain you with the help of the same example. So this, this is the definition for fuzzy cardinality. So when we solve that example you will understand it better. So fuzzy cardinality is equal to the set of all ordered pairs. So we write it in the form of ordered pair which is actually the uh, scalar cardinality of the alpha cut set. So this is the alpha cut set that is level set for all the alphas that we consider. So where alpha is an element of the level cut set. So let, let me explain this with that example. So first we have to find all the alpha level sets. So first alpha level set is when alpha is equal to 0. So when alpha is 0 we obtain this alpha cut set to be equal to. Now what does the this alpha cut means? We have already seen the definition. So by the definition of alpha cut we have here. So it is equal to uh, if we are going to find the alpha cut for alpha equal to x it is all I mean um, for the element x then all those membership values which is greater than or equal to alpha will come under this set. So the alpha cut set for the element x will be all those membership grades which are greater than or equal to uh, that alpha value we check and that element will come under this set. So now let us do this. So the zero cut set now will be all those elements of x for which the membership grade is greater than or equal to 0. So those elements will come into this set. Now 0 is a, the membership grade is 0. So it will be 5. So 0 0.2 is obviously greater than 0. So 15. So like that if we check all these elements will come into this set. So 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. Because the membership grades of all these elements are either 0 or greater than 0. Therefore, the 0 cut set will be this. And what will be modulus of this 0 cut set? It will be equal to the number of elements in this set which is 9. So, first let us write that. Now, for second alpha we choose to be the next membership grade which is 0 0.2. So, what will be 0 0.2 cut of this fuzzy set? So, all those... Uh, elements of x for which the membership grade is equal to 0 0.2 or greater than 0 0.2 will come under this set. So now if you check 0 is lesser than 0 0.2. So 5 will not fall into this set whereas 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.2 that is the alpha value. Therefore this 15 will fall into the set. So 15. 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.2 so 25. And then 1 is greater than 0 0.2, so 35. 0 0.6 is greater than 0 0.2, so 45. And then 55 similarly. But 0 0.1 is lesser than 0 0.2 and so we will not have 65. And even uh, we won't have 75 and 85 because the membership grades are 0. So with this the set gets closed. And so the mo modulus of the 0 0.2 cut will be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is 5. Similarly, we have to find for the next membership grade that is 0 0.8. So 0 0.8a will be equal to all those elements for which the membership grade is either 0 0.8 or greater than this. So if we check like that, this, this won't fall into the set. So we will have 25 and then 1 is greater than 0 0.8. So we will have 35. And then 0 0.6 is lesser than 0 0.8. So 45 will not fall into it. 55 will not fall into it. So we will not have any other elements of x into it. So these are the only two elements of 0 0.8 cut. So 0 0.8 cut the modulus is equal to 2. So similarly we shall find for this. So uh, 1 cut. So 1 
a is equal to all those elements for which the membership grade is uh, greater than or equal to 1 definitely we will not have greater than value because we know that the membership values is between 0 and 1 only and we don't have any other uh, set uh, i mean any other element with the membership grade 1 so the only element that falls under this category is this 35 so we will have only 35 here and so therefore the modulus of this one cut is equal to uh, i mean uh, 1 because the number of element here is 1 only. So we should write that 1 here. And the next membership grade is 0 0.6. We shall find in the similar way. We will find for 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.1. And we will uh, write all the level sets for this. So now here we have evaluated for alpha equal to 0 0.6. So the modulus value is 3. Because, uh, the, because in that example... We see that the elements with membership grade grade, grade greater than or equal to 0 0.6 is uh, this 25, 35 and 45. So we have written here 25, 35 and 45 and so modulus of this value is 3. Similarly, we have evaluated for 0. Point, I mean, uh, 0. Point alpha equal to 0. 0.4 and 0. 0.1. So for all values of alpha, we have evaluated these sets. Now we have to write the fuzzy cardinality. So how to write that? So, the fuzzy cardinality denoted by this is equal to the set of ordered pairs where we will be first writing the uh, cardinality, that is scalar cardinality of this alpha cut set for the respective values of alpha that we consider. And so, that will be equal to, so modulus of, uh, that is uh, for example, when alpha is equal to, the first value that we considered is alpha is equal to 0 0.2. So, what was the modulus of uh, 0.2a? That is, that was equal to 5. I'm sorry, the first value alpha that we considered is 0 actually. 0 alpha equal to 0. And the modulus of 0 cut is 9. So, it will be 9 comma. So, the ordered pair will be like this. 9 comma 0. And then the second ordered pair will be we considered for alpha equal to 0 0.2. And the zero, modulus of 0 0.2 cut is 5. So, it will be 5 comma 0 0.2. Uh, I hope you understand this. Similarly, the next alpha value that we considered is 0 0.8 and the mod value we found it to be 2. And so, it will be 2 comma 0 0.8. Similarly, here we have um, alpha equal to 1. So, the, it was only 1 element. So, 1 comma 1. So, the only element with membership grade 1 was only one element. So, it will be this. And then further we have alpha equal to 0 0.6 for which the cardinality was 3. And so, here we will be having 3 comma 0 0.6. And the next value of alpha was 0 0.4 for which the cardinality was 4. And so, it will be 4 comma 0 0.4. And then we have 0 0.1 for which it was 6. So, it will be 6 comma 0 0.1. So, this is the fuzzy cardinality. Hope you have understood all the three types of cardinality that we learned today. It is scalar cardinality, relative cardinality and the fuzzy cardinality. Thank you.